Okay. Oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> oh, I'm feeling on my phone again. We all know how this is going to go. Disaster. But hello, everybody. I'm pretty excited about this video, and I think you guys are going to find it very useful once I get myself set up. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. All right. So let's just jump right into it. So many times I am asked about editing, rightfully so. There's lots of things that you maybe see in images that you don't really know how they were achieved. So I'm very happy to announce that I will be putting out a series of editing tutorials that will be available for purchase and that will be coming within like the next two months. So what you can do to get ready for this is go into the description and sign up to my email list because that will help you get a discount code for these tutorials. And yeah, I'm very, very excited to put them out. I have been developing like a style obviously for the last 10 years and I do teach post-processing one-on-one -on -one through like Skype or Zoom and I believe everybody says, and I also believe this myself, that I can like do a lot but in a very simple way so drama but created simply simply is that right <laughs> does that even make sense anyways you get what i mean so this video uh today is not going to be a full edit i'm going to show you two things that will i believe because i'm a big believer in like when i edit i'm always learning things about how i can shoot better the next time so these things actually help me uh, learn about composition and even like visualize the next time I go out shooting and they're two of the most important things that I always look for in images. So yeah, when you guys are watching this, I'll actually be in London. So I'm going to create um, some images there and I'm going to take you behind the scenes when it, with all of that. And that will be the next video that comes out after that. I'm really, really excited to get there. So yeah, while you're watching this, just know I'm somewhere in London creating dreamy images. Anyways, let's get right into it. First things first, I love you guys and please subscribe so it helps me grow and you will learn all of the good stuff. Anyways, now time to edit. So this image, this was obviously from my last video. You guys all saw it. Um, it turned out be, to be one of my favorites. This is a slightly edited version of it, but it's basically the raw because there's a couple things in this image I want to show you the what I was talking about before like there's two main things that I always look for in my images while editing again that helps me um, shoot a little bit better in the future so one thing for sure that I can see about this image is how I would have like I'm very happy with it don't get me wrong but if I could have a redo I would have actually pulled back I, I photographed this on my 70 to 200 and I would have pulled back a little bit further and maybe shot a little bit lower as well to kind of compress myself against this peak of this mountain. But it, I don't think that, that it is like a make or break that I didn't shoot this image like that. I actually think that it turned out quite well. But if we're being really picky, that is what I would have done. So the reason why I'm using this image as an example is because of all the little tiny, very, very minor, very minor distractions that I see in the image. But these are distractions that I truthfully feel um, can really kind of make or break an image. So distractions is something that I'm always looking for to make sure I eliminate. And I do that by like just studying the image and especially studying the light in the image and where the light is pulling the eye. So there's definitely a few distractions right away that stick up to me. One is being, oh, I should say that I'm actually editing this on my trackpad because I use a mouse to edit, but it's too noisy and I didn't want to annoy you guys. So we're going trackpad style. So I'll, I'll be a little bit sloppy because I suck at editing with the trackpad. But anyways, so a couple of things that stick out to me right away that I know I want to eliminate is I want to change sort of the composition of this image a bit. And we're going to do that by just pulling it down, I want to, the top of the image, like where these, uh, the gap is where the sky is, I actually find that quite distracting. So we're gonna pull this down quite a bit. I also find the shadow distracting. We're being really, really particular here, I do. But by pulling it down, we can actually eliminate that quite a bit. And then what I'm going to do is manipulate this top part just a bit to make it a little bit more visually pleasing. And I like to use the distort tool when I'm doing stuff like this. And I'm okay like what it does to the image if it kind of distorts it or I, I'm okay with that. 
because I'm going to make the background of this image slightly hazy. Like the, the final edit was a little bit hazy because of the beautiful light. So I don't care if I, I don't know, wrecked the pixels or something like that. So already I love it a bazillion times better. <laughs> I honestly think that it looks it, that just like totally changed things. And we now have a less like distracting image. Another thing that I notice, I always notice white spots in images. So I can see some in my dress and I can actually see some over here that is going to pull me away. And then I see this big white spot. This was a flare, um, like a lens flare, but that's easily correctable. So all the tiny little minor things I think are important to pay attention to. You might not see it right away. I'm just going to use the patch tool to quickly, whoopsie, quickly clean this up. I told you trackpad in me editing is not a good combo. So yes, I'm going to just remove these little white spots in the dress very painfully slow <laughs> with the drag band. I'm so sorry, I'm not good at it. But you obviously get what I mean. Let's just grab some other pieces of the dress and fill all those in and voila. So that will make a huge difference on the image. I already notice a, a huge difference. And then there's a couple of other spots that I'm not going to um, eliminate the footprints fully. I'm going to actually leave them because I think it adds to the image, but there's a couple of stragglers that I think can go. So a couple of these, and then there's also this spot in here. Let me just quickly get rid of that. That was also a distraction to me. So we're getting pretty good on eliminating the distractions uh, for this spot here that is a flare, it's quite hot. How I go about removing those is in the I use camera raw filter a lot. You'll learn this when I go to edit. Um, we are going to just grab a brush and just paint over it. And then I'm going to lower the exposure just a little bit. I think there, that helps a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. So we'll leave that. And yeah, already we've kind of eliminated that bright spot. So let's go ahead and merge that down. And then for this part of the image, so in the original, like the final edit, um, I did not feel like I was, like I am center with this uh, sand dune peak, but I don't fully feel center. feel like it's a little bit too heavy with the dress on this end. So what I'm going to do is we are going to just move all of this, grab a chunk of it, and we're going to move this over just a little bit. I did this it probably won't look as like nice and seamless as when I did it the first time because I'm going to do this really quickly. But basically, so I moved it over and then I'm going to lightly brush out the lines. Again, if this was a full edit, I would do a way better job at lining this up because I did do a pretty good job at having it look all pretty even in one uniform with the rest of the sand. So let's just leave it like that for now. That looks great. And we'll go ahead and merge that down. And then I want to get rid of this side because obviously we don't want that. So again, I'm going to grab the uh, distort tool. Let's grab a, quite a big chunk of it and we're going to pull it over. So this is how I'm basically um, creating like my version of how I would clean up the composition. And if I could go back again, back in time, I would have shot this differently like this. I, again, I would have composed it much differently. I would have been more centered. So sometimes um, it can actually be a good thing when you have like these things to fix in your images because it just teaches you more about composition. I'm always constantly learning and that's actually how I've improved my whole career. So this bit of light is so minor, but I can guarantee it just will distract from everything. So let's just go ahead and I noticed it right away. It's, I know it was minor, but I definitely noticed it. So I do feel now, let's get rid of that footprint as well. So it sticks out a bit. Again, I would use way more uh, cleaner methods to do this, but you guys get the point. So there we go. Within just like a few simple adjustments of like cleaning up distractions and um, altering the composition, whoops, that's the wrong one. We have a completely different image that I think is actually much better than the original. And it was really, really simple to do this. And I definitely feel like it was very effective. So then after this, after I have like my base, that's when I would go ahead and do all the rest of the adjustments, but we are not going to do deep dive into that. Right now, we're just going to leave it here. And then I'm gonna show you something else on another image.
All right, so this image here, I really love. Um, I love all the the lines and the curves and the beautiful beautiful light, but it just kind of looks like a snapshot. Like I was just standing there, which I was, <laughs> I was standing there with my 70 to 200, just taking um, photos of all the dunes and all the curves and the lines, but it didn't really have thought put into the composition. So these types of images, I actually feel help me expand the most. And I highly suggest when you're editing and you're studying your own image, look at the crop tool and use that to just play around. So for just demonstration's sake, let's um, do it, do a four by five crop. But we'll just kind of, you know, throw in the social media aspect side of posting things on Instagram. So I love to play around with the crop tool. I already did with this one and I just like to try to pick out better compositions than what I had originally photographed. And I'm really drawn to this curve here. So I think that this is actually a very pleasing composition with all the different lines and it really makes it simple. And we are eliminating just so much of this unnecessary mess, especially up here in the background. I find that this is extremely distracting. You have the road that's right here and then all of this stuff. I just find it doesn't work. So let's just go ahead and crop that. And we now have what is a, what I think, a much better image. There's a couple of things I'm gonna obviously clean up on here like this. So let's go ahead, we'll do the distort method again, because I, I really like doing this when I am uh, kind of, I guess, manipulating my images around. So let's move that up there. And yeah, already I feel like we have now a really clean, simple, minimalistic sand dune image that just focuses on one of these little curves. And the other one was a bit, um, let's go bring that up, the original. So the this one, like there's just so much going on. I don't think it's bad, but I think that there is just a lot going on that it's not, you, you your eye will just travel too many different places versus this one is now very, like it just has this impact. And to take it a little bit further with my compositions, I like to really focus on light and edit around where the light is. I like to protect the light. I think that, you know, our eye is always drawn to that. So another thing I like to do, and this doesn't really have to do with composition, but it definitely has to do with drawing, like, you know, making the eye go where it wants. So I'm back in the camera raw filter and we're gonna get a linear gradient tool and we're gonna start building up a vignette. This is probably the way that I create the most impact in all of my images, to be quite honest, is the linear gradient tool. Let's do it again on this side as well. Cause these parts of the image, like they're not, they don't really matter all that much. These are not, the lines are really cool, but this is where you want that eye to go. So let's do that. And already got, we have some impact. Um, this is still a really flat image, so obviously I would, you know, go ahead and things like curves and really boost up that light, but we are not going to focus on that because I am going to be putting all of that out in an editing tutorial. But there we go, something like that, like really subtle and really works the darks of the dunes and then you can see this beautiful light. And we simplified things. So we got rid of a lot of distraction and we used the crop tool in the end to play around with composition. I always play around with the crop tool. Always, always, always. I feel like, again, even this is, is much better. Um, except for obviously I would eliminate this road. So let's just get that out of there. Oh, my computer's gonna be so slow. But you see what I mean? One simple tool can really, really help you understand composition and yeah, it's a game, game, game changer. These two things I are so simple, but I really believe that they can transform your photography while you're editing, but also out in the field. So I wanted to try and keep that in like a six minute video, which is not how this is going to be. So whew, I'm looking forward to the editing tutorial because it's going to be jam packed with so many little tips and tricks and my whole workflow and how I achieve the look that I want to achieve. So yeah, please subscribe if you enjoyed that or you found that useful. And I guess I will see you guys next week because we will be in London and I am really looking forward to it. I have a lot more stories to share about that as well. Anyways, talk to you guys next week. Bye.